there. Good morning, everyone, from <clears throat> Church by the Sea Sunday School, from Miss Valerie and Miss Joanne. I have a feeling that many of you have already been celebrating October 31st for Halloween, as we uh, now <coughs> call it. For, it means dressing up and <coughs> eating a lot of candy. And there is something a little scary about it, especially when people think about ghosts and skeletons. Oh, I'm very easily scared. Ah, but still, we all love dressing up and eating candy. I love learning why we have these celebrations and who started them. You could easily Google Halloween and learn a lot about the history. Most of our celebrations began hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And Halloween, or All Saints Day, which it uh, is also remembered as, seems to have uh, celebrated at the end of the harvest when people um, had a big harvest festival when they, you know, um, brought in all the crops and they had the wheat and everything and put things away to uh, have food through the winter when it snowed, it rained and it was cold and it was dark. So they celebrated that and they kind of got ready for the long dark winter ahead. <clears throat> but today, we have a story <clears throat> which is about the importance of love and the three rules of loving. The first rule is love our God. He is our love teacher. And what does he teach us? That we are born to give love and to receive love. Rule two, we must love our neighbor as ourselves. And this means all the people who are sharing the planet with us at this time. And God created us to be kind and caring to one another and to everyone and everything sharing the life with us. And rule three is the last reminder, which is to love ourselves is very important. We are all very special with many talents and we must take care of ourselves and, and think of how we behave and learn to show love and kindness to ourselves. We will make mistakes, but we can learn and improve in the many ways that God has shown us. Perhaps, Miss Joanna, you will start us with a prayer before we read our story. Yes, thank you. Thank you, God, for loving us so much. Thank you, God, for all the love we can share. Thank you for everyone who loves us and cares for us. May we be filled with love, gracious God, love you share with others and ourselves, growing ever closer to you, God. Thank you for all the love we share. Amen. Amen. We are going to, before we start the story, we have to just practice a little bit um, the words. Um, it's like if we had a me megaphone to shout it really loudly, which we don't have, but if we put our hands, I think, around our mouth, we could make the sound a little louder. And the, what we're going to say is, Love God with all your might. You remember that? Love God with all your might. So when I do this, um, that'll be your clue that that's what we're going to say. So and we can all say it together. <laughs> so now here's the story, the most important rule. Jesus knew those words. His friends knew those words. His parents knew those words, the scribes, his teachers knew those words. From the time that they were very little children, they would all hear those words and knew what they meant. Love God with all your might. Love God with all your might. 
One day, a scribe heard Jesus talking to a crowd of people, and he walked over and listened for a while. Hmm, said the scribe. Hmm, this teacher named Jesus is very wise. Very wise. He understands many things. I like the way he listens to people. And I like the way he answers questions. Hmm. I have a question. Maybe he will answer my question too. And so the scribe walked up to Jesus and asked, teacher, teacher, I have heard you say many, many wise things. I have a question for you. There are so many rules and have taught to the people, which one, which rule, which rule is most important? Jesus listened carefully. Hmm. He knew the answer. He remembered saying it many, many times as he was growing up. Love God with all your might. Yes, 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 said the scribe. Every day, that's what I say. Love God with all your might. It is such an important rule. I have the rule written on my door and I even had it tied around my head. So I don't forget. Wait, there is a second part to that rule, said Jesus. It is important to love others as you love yourself. The scribe looked at Jesus. Then he scratched his head. Yes, yes, you are right. Love is the most important rule of all. Love God, love others, love yourself. You are very wise, Jesus. Thank you for listening to me. And all the way home, the scribe repeated over and over. Love God, love others. Love yourself. And he would remember that. He would not forget. And maybe we can remember that too. It's love God. Love others. Love yourself. So Jesus showed us how to follow those three rules. And, and they're very easy to remember. I think all of us could remember them. But... That doing them is a little bit more difficult. Yeah. That's cool. Maybe Miss Joanne has some helpful ideas and a craft will, which will help us to always remember to be loving. Let's hope so. We're all excited about what we're thinking about Halloween and the things we're going to do, the questions we're going to ask others, the trick or treating, maybe. And Maybe um, thinking about how we could make this more than pumpkins and trick or treat and things like that. We can think of others. Many places you collect money for people are in need. You give out things to people that need them. So it is a sort of a celebration of love and helping others and helping others have a happy time and say complimentary things to others about their costumes and what they're gonna do for the day of Halloween. It helps us to remember how different and alike we are all around God's world. We all want to be loved and appreciated. We all want to share our love with others. We all love God with all our might. This is what our celebration is. And this is the most important rule. Love God with all your might. And these rules that Valley sh shared with you in celebration of this day, that's the most important rule. I loved how well the scribe listened to what Jesus said. He had certain ways to help him remember this, to remember these rules. Remember, he tied the, the scarf around his head and he had things to help him remember. Love God with all your might to help him remember these important rules. Writing them on the door 
So what can you do to help you remember to love God and all that you want? So I thought it might be fun, since this is a celebration of love and sharing and happiness, we could make a chain of how we remember to love God with all our might. Remember you too are, are loved, even though we all make mistakes, we are loved. We love God, we love others, and we love ourselves. And you can be doing that, add more names to it if you like. We've made this before, which was a frisbee that you can fly around to each other and playing the game. And then if you want to change the message, you just make a circle. And write what you want on it. You could write love God, love yourself, love others. And then you just glue it in the center. And you great frisbee, throwing your love out to each other, celebrating how we are alike and how we're different. It's all wonderful. And you can help others in collecting for people at Halloween. It's a wonderful time to celebrate all the blessings we have. So have a safe Halloween, a safe day every day as you remember these rules. Go out and celebrate, make happy. Thank you, Miss John. <laughs> Do we have some angels today? Oh, I didn't even get around to that. Well, I didn't. I, I, think love. <laughs> I, I have some interesting ones today. Uh, uh, the easy one I'm going to leave last. Okay. So I think I had the angel of um, obedience because I think I have to be obedient and remember these rules. You know, sometimes. Uh, I, you know, Absolutely. We I think I have to be um, obedient and remind myself and remember these rules because if you break rules, it's right. never good. <laughs> so I thought the angel of obedience today. And That's also, uh, always, sometimes, you know, to follow the right rules isn't always easy because there might be. Uh, other people who want you to break the rules, you know, oh, don't, you know, so you have to have courage sometimes and you have to say, no, uh, this is my rule. Right. Going to the rules. The courage. And then um, love, of course, always, and, and kindness. I mean, that, that's really, I think, the, the major uh, way we can show our love is, is to be kind to people. Right. And, helpful yes and of course you'll be carving pumpkins and you might make one for a neighbor who didn't have a chance to get out and get a pumpkin or play a trick-or-treat game of good tricks and good treats there's so many ways to share your love at a holiday that somebody might think is spooky but it really isn't it's sharing your love with others I think, you know, remembering that there are people uh, in our neighborhoods usually who aren't able to go out and, and do right. things. So I think it's, it's a nice to remember that maybe you have to go and see them because exactly. they can't come and see you. And if people can't go out, they do appreciate uh, somebody coming and, you know, saying hello to them and maybe bringing them a little candy or something special. Um, because you know their days are a little bit lonely sometimes so don't let's forget the people in our neighborhood who maybe would appreciate uh, a little visit during the holiday period the holiday so let's uh, put our hands together and say a little prayer before we say goodbye dear creator help me to share love with caring and kindness to all who share the world with me. Let me be slow to criticize and quick to show understanding and love. Amen. Amen. So don't eat all the candies in one day, everybody. <laughs> no. Keep yourself safe. Share with others. A year's supply in one day. But I hope you all right. have <laughs> lots of candy and having little parties and playing games and just having a good time laughter and joy and happiness huh?
Sounds fun. Sounds good. Back in my day, you used to bob some apples. Goodbye, October, and now we're into November with another big holiday in a few yes. months. And then so another with Christmas. 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 Holiday every month now, so that's something to look forward to. Yes. Be so safe. Happy. Be happy. Lots of smiles and lots of love. <laughs>